the full release for this game just came out. I think they said on average it's going to be like one and a half to two hours to complete it. Let's do it. My dream again. Well, I guess I should get up anyway. You're waking up at 1413? That's crazy. Who wakes up that late? It's a PS1. Oh, it looks like Melissa called me. I guess I should call her back. Let's call. Hold Q. Okay. Hello? Jack actually had an idea where we could go on a little camping trip this weekend, like old times. Would you be interested? You're darn too and not be interested. I think James is coming too. Really? What's the occasion? It's a secret. Oh, come on. Nope. You'll have to wait. Fine, fine. Okay. Cut right to the... Somewhere, Ohio. I'm taking the music, it's... It's classic, like an old horror flick. I like how the end of the road is just an open area, enclosed. An open and enclosed area. Well, we're here. This is the campsite? Yeah! Nice, isn't it? I don't know. I, I guess, I mean, I, yeah, sure. I mean, like, I, I guess I like it, sure. It's cool, I guess. I don't know, maybe it'll grow on me. At least we can have a fire. Yeah, at least we can have a fire. We used to hang out here forever, near here forever ago. I guess you guys didn't come along. Well, we should get things set up before it gets dark. James is right. Eight, eight, or 1800, 6 p.m. Chapter one, reunion. All right, let's go around and uh, see how everybody's doing. Looks like we're just going to be uh, staring at things here. Yeah, that's a tent, if you could figure it out. So what do you think of the place? You guys already asked me that. It is a bit eerie, but that's part of the fun. If anything comes at us, I got this baby with me. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's better than nothing. I got a wife, can't talk to you. Here we go, James. Hey, I'm glad you ended up coming. Well, Melissa wouldn't really take no for an answer, but yeah, me too. It's nice to see you. Yeah, you too. Do you need help with anything? It looks like we forgot to buy firewood on the way here. She's not going to be too happy about that. There might still be some firewood left over in the shack that's near here. Do you think you could go grab it? Yeah, I'll go grab it. How do I get there? Just follow the right path and you'll find it. All right. Take something with us. Oh, uh, a lantern. All right. Try not to get lost. Tab for inventory. Equip. And let's go. All right. The right path. This is the right path. And I guess we're going to go here. So what I'll do is I will shift to sprint. I think I'll keep my face cam here and there, but at some point, points throughout the, the the video I'm gonna take my face off it makes it easier to get thumbnails and I think we found the shack and the looming music slowly creeps in an overall feeling of dread approaches and subdues hello anything in here no okay where did it go the music just left oh okay we're back Oh, we're gone. Fear the moon. He's watching you. Who's watching me? Okay. The door just... The door just came down. Okay. Fear the moon. Accidentally locked the shed on my way out. Whoops. I think the key should be somewhere in that abandoned vehicle on the cliff. Also, I think something might have died in there. 
This place reeks. We're looking for a key. We've got to find a key. That's going to help us. And can we jump or anything? Let me see here. Nope. I don't know who closed that door, but... Is there a way out? Around, around in the back? Hmm. Nope. Why did we come here? Oh, firewood. We're looking for firewood. But we didn't find it there. This feels a little different than what I'm normally playing. But, uh... Okay. Shrek? Oh, oops. Interesting outhouse. Okay. It said they stalk the woods at night, forever starving, forever in pain aching to fill their empty stomachs to feast on meat and organs. And once you hear their scratches echoing through the trees, it's already too late. Who closed the door on me? Oh, got some, uh, some footsteps. We're being followed for sure. Someone uh, disappeared that way. Alright. I think we found the abandoned vehicle. Is this- is this the- oh, that's a uh, hard vehicle. No vehicle! Why would you do that, James? Yeah, you scared me. What were you saying? The house, you can see it from here. Yeah, why would you- the way he just, like, jumped up, too. I guess it's pretty creepy. Anyway, it's getting dark. Be sure not to get lost out here. Hey, he's more than willing to let me walk out here by myself. What happened to a two-man party? Buddy system. Oh, we found the key. Okay. Got the shack key. And do we need the screwdriver for anything? Alright, so... Let's go back to... A little shed that's over here and open that door he really just came out here like that i heard walking i hear i heard walking dude i swear to god somebody's walking around here watching me okay shack key Close this, and so nobody walks in. That's kind of weird, the music, I mean. Okay, so we crouched. Here's a bundle of firewood. It's gotten pretty dark, I should head back. And then here is a... dead bird. What else is in here? Flask, water bottle. How did it immediately turn dark? Like, how You see that? How did the sun disappear from, like, the moment I went under to the moment I grabbed the bundle and came back out? Let's go. Alright, guys, we have two options here. We can go to that house and try to see what's up. Or we can head back to the campfire, to the campsite. I think I'm in the mood to see what's over at the house. Dude, you see that? I see, I saw a pair of eyes in the distance over there. Oh, yo, he's right there, right there, you see him? And he just disappeared. I think this actually might be one of those games where you lose if uh, it's nighttime. And you're like not safe. So, dude, he's right there. You see him? Let's just stick with the group. I think that's probably the best. For now, just to progress the story. And they're in the same positions, and magically, this tent is back up. All right, guys, I got the wood. 
Hey, are you okay? You look like you saw a ghost. I heard something weird in the woods. Oh, wait, I'm Jane. What did it sound like? Like a wolf or something? I don't know what wolf you've been hearing, but the that did not sound like a wolf. There shouldn't be any wolves around here. Maybe it was the wolf man. Come now, Jack. Don't be ridiculous. What? He could be real. You know the stories, too. Yeah, I do, and it's made up. What's the wolf man? Just a bit of an urban legend around here. I swear I saw him in the woods one time after a party. And how many drinks did you have on that night? I don't know. A few? Uh-huh. I really did see something, though. It was tall and had these bright yellow eyes. Exactly what we just saw. Is that why you chose this place, Jack? Maybe. I can't believe you. I'm sure it was probably nothing. Just freak me, uh, freak me out a bit is all. Can we get this fire started now? It's getting cold out here. Yeah, I'm ready to relax. Fine, fine. I'll get started. Yeah, you start that fire. Huh? Yeah, light her up. Dude, the way they, they stepped to that fire was kind of, like... So very NPC-like. Like... What are you looking at? Huh? Oh, sorry. It's just that it's a full moon out tonight. So it is. Sure is pretty, huh? Yeah. Well, when you're done admiring it, come get your food. It's getting cold. Okay, cool. Thanks. Fill the bowl. I'll need a bowl first. That makes sense. You just standing here with a spoon. <laughs> oh my god, look at you guys. You're not even eating. You're not even eating. Take the bowl. Hey, man. You okay? Oh. Uh, well. Forgot I'm a girl. I got the bowl, though. Cute. Oh, tab. Equip the bowl. We gotta equip the bowl, guys. And we're eating. I should sit down before eating. You don't necessarily have to, but sure. Why'd we even get a spoon? We're not going to use it. Gross slurp noises. Here he is. Hey. So, do you guys want to hear the legend of the Wolfman? Oh, great, this again. Hey, I, I know I can be ex obsessed with cryptid stuff sometimes, but this one is really creepy. Okay, sure. What is the Wolfman? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, it's an urban legend out here about the man that used to own this property. He disappeared a long time ago, and there's stories that he never actually left. Instead, turned into a wolfman that lurks the woods, attacking and eating animals and even humans. That sounds silly. It actually gets more twisted than that. He had a sort of animal sanctuary out here with lots of dogs he would take in and take care of, and he lived completely alone aside from the animals. So when he disappeared, no one knew he was gone for a long time. When somebody finally came to check on him, they found something truly terrible inside the house. All the animals had starved to death, locked inside rooms and cages, scratches and blood all over the walls and doors. Oh my god, that's awful. Yeah, and that's not even the worst part. They say some of the animals had even started eating each other. Makes sense. But really, it's just stories told to try and keep kids from coming out here and underage drinking. Plus, with all the parties that used to happen out here, stories were bound to be made up from the things people thought they saw or heard. There's even been a few missing persons out here. 
Yeah, that's really why people don't come out here anymore. Cops really started cracking down on the place after that. So why are we out here? For old times sake, plus all the danger makes it more exciting. You wouldn't want to hang out at any old campground, would you? It's okay. The most dangerous thing out here is deer and bobcats. Oh, and Jack here. Dangerously handsome, maybe. <laughs> oh, you guys are so awkward. Are we doing anything or are we just hanging out here? Can you hear the moon? Do, 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 do. 10 p.m. Let's go. It's been nice catching up, but I think I'm going to head to sleep. Yeah, same. Today has me beat. Wait, before you guys go, Jack and I have something to tell you. Oh, what is it? Well, I guess I'll just say it. We're getting married! Oh. That's... Uh... Cool. Yep. Finally decided to tie the knot. Wow. I'm happy for you guys. Thank you. Oh my gosh. He is definitely... Oh, okay. Oh, that's why he's out here drinking by himself and standing over here at them like a weird stalker type. Th that's weird, dude. Okay. And, you know, after a while, this... Okay. Turn your head like that. You guys go ahead. Jack and I are going to hang out for a little longer, I think. It's just so... <laughs> I get it. It's it, it's part of the charm. It's part of the charm of the game. Yo, bro, James. Why are you simping over here, bro? You can take the tent. I'll be sleeping in the van. Bro. You need to drink more, dude. Drink, dude. Have a drink. Get over it. Build a bridge and get over it. Who do you guys think is the first that's gonna die? Well, I mean, it seems... It seems like it's gonna be one of them. Which is unfortunate. Because they're about to get married. Twelve AM. Yep, there we go. Did I just hear a scream? She just woke up, so I gotta do it like that. It sounded like it came from that old shack. You have incredible hearing if you're able to discern how far and from which direction the scream came from. I should make sure everyone's okay. Nobody brought a gun or anything? Oh, wait, hold on. Let me, where's my... Oh, where's my lantern at? Oh, I guess I'll take this one. Yeah, we need that. Let me equip that real quick. Alright. I shouldn't wander too far. Isn't this where... I thought it was this way. I'm not too much of a fan of uh, stamina bars. Kind of hinders. I guess that's the point. Part of... Mechanic to things? Close this out house. Hello? Oh. Okay. What? Definitely picking this up. What's going on? What's the T? What's going on? Press 2. Hello? Are you friendly? Okay, so right bumper to... I feel like we should hide in here, right? It's not letting us in here. They said no. That's not happening. A pair of keys. Okay. He's watching you. All right, bro. Melissa, what's up? Jane! What happened here? I don't know. Me and Jack were just hanging out, messing around. Oh, y'all were messing around. And something attacked us. It happened all so- it all happened so fast, I couldn't really tell what was happening, but I think Jack is hurt. Like, really hurt. But this thing, it was so big and fast, 
It just picked him up and took him away like it was nothing. Dude, your, your boy is dead. I hate to say it, he's probably dead. I think we have to get out of here. I don't know if I can help him, at least not on our own. We gotta call him back up. Call in the military. Okay, okay, we should get help. Yes, we need to get to the van. But Jack had the keys. I think he dropped them in here or something. We have to find them. So you spent all this time staring out the window. Because you screamed a hot minute ago. I got the keys. Let's go. Jack, is that you? Are you alive? Oh, oh! Oh, I missed it! I missed it! I didn't get to see it! I just heard something huge walking this way and I missed it! I have to get out of here. Yeah, we gotta get out. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Like, I'm sorry, but we gotta go. Okay. Oh man, where, where's the van? Where's the, there's the van. Okay. Yo, let's go, bro! Get up, get up, get up! We gotta drive! Forget all this stuff. Come back in the morning. Let's go get in the car. Get in the car. We gotta go. We gotta dip. Let's go. Look behind. Yo, where's our dude? Okay, hold on. S is to reverse. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting something, but I wasn't expecting them to show up, or the, the, the wolf man to show up, like, right next to me. I thought he was gonna, like, pop through the front or the back or something. And now I'm in a cage. This is great. My head hurts. I feel so strange, like, something's under my skin. I mean, you got bit. What did that thing do to me? So more than likely, now I have the powers of a wolf. Bark, bark, or, uh, I mean, you know. Ooh. All right, that's our game saving mechanic, I believe. I could store things inside here. It's good to know. Okay, and pick up our bag. This looks like Melissa's backpack. I should try to find her. I can now carry a few more items. We're inside the house. This is the safe room. We don't have anything. What do notes say? Nothing. So there's nothing. Okay. Hello? Nothing. It's too dark to go that way. I'll need to find something to light the way with. So we're going this way. All right. At least the the at least the game is leading us. Uh, all right. Interesting portraits. We got scratches here and on the wall as well. It's over here. Hide. Okay. So we do know now that there are hiding mechanics involved. If the wolf guy comes through, we're going to hide. Okay. It's quiet. Inspect. It smells strange. I think I see bugs crawling around. Just some old books. More old books. Open. Seems stuck. Alright, so that's stuck. Turn that off. We're wasting electricity. Turn that on. It's a distraction. Wolfman's house. It was their sophomore year of high school and Toby had finally convinced Michael to come with him to the Wolfman's house. He had wanted to go all summer after hearing about the ghost dogs that haunted the property. The house was chained shut on every entrance, so Toby brought some bolt cutters. They managed to get into the basement 
Upon entering, they found some strange stone artifacts, old books, and even an old sword. The artifacts seemed to be inscribed with something, but not in a language either of them knew. All right, um, let's go over this way where there's blood on the floor. Okay, that's definitely where we need to go, but we're going to open this one, check the bathroom. It's not real. What's not real? The bathroom. No need for that. I wonder if it even works. I mean, we won't know unless we try. Oh! Toby! Whoa, bro. Well, at least we got a pocket knife now. Open this. Anything in here? Let's use the pocket knife. And, oh, we got a ladder here. Try to open this. Can we close this? Let's close that. Don't want anybody coming up behind us. Let's check this. They're all empty. I thought we were just going to take the clock with us. Oh! We could sit. I'm pretty sure that this is going to come in handy at some point. I did not know that we could do that, though. That's cool. Turn that off. We're wasting electricity. And... Alright. Seems stuck, but we have a pocket knife now. And we found a key. Alright. Aha! Anybody? No? Okay. So it turns out we do need this key here. Nope. There we go. Whoa. Like a standing mirror. I wonder what, mirror, I wonder why it was covered. Probably because whatever was in here didn't want to see themselves. Remove it! Inspect it's just the mirror. Is it though? Maybe it's a portal. Anything in here? Turn that off for sure. Hmm. What do you guys have in here? We have a lock pick. Another gross bed. Books. Seems like something's leaning against the door. Um, lock pick. Okay, so a lock pick got us through. But if something's leaning against the door. <laughs> That's Melissa. She's dead. I can't believe this is happening. I need to get the fuck out of here. We got a flashlight now. Whoa. Melissa! I never liked you. Just kidding. D damn, dude. That's, uh... She's gutted open. All the windows seem to be barred off. To keep people out? Or to keep something in? Alright. F for flashlight. Naturally. Oh! Was right above us. Whatever it was, was right above us. One. Hello? Is anyone here? I need help. Hello? Is someone in there? Sounds like someone may be stuck inside. I should try to find a way in. Pocket knife. It's blocked. Okay. Gotta find another lockpick, probably. And looks like I won't be getting out this way. This looks like the front, but... Okay. Pocket knife. What's, what's the point of having that, then? Seems to work. Red plus blue plus... I can't even read my numbers. I mean, letters. I mean, colors. Damn it. Red... Uh, what is pipe? What are these? Okay, so that controls that. Blue door is locked. Got a little puzzle action going on here. Okay. Let's figure this out. And it looks like if the wolfman wanted to, he could just drop down. Close this, as if it's going to help us. Toby brought some equipment with him to help hunt for the ghost dogs, including a spirit box thought to allow the dead to communicate with the living, and an EMF re uh, reader believed to detect the presence of ghosts. Toby couldn't have been more enthused 
as he held the EMF reader inside the cage, each cage, watching it rocket up to its highest level, five. Hello? Are you friendly? Watching sent chills down Michael's spine, but he wrote it off as bad wiring in the dilapidated house. Still, though, the house gave him such an unsettling feeling, especially the strange noises he kept hearing from the empty rooms. What kind of moments? So, nothing in here. Anything in the trash can? Nope. Inspect that bag of trash. Is it? Unlock this. Can't get it open. It's locked. I always think you can just use a knife for everything, but apparently it's not happening. The drawer is stuck. Oh! We can use it for something. Good job, Toby. Green key! We found a green key. That's good. Okay. And the remains of a dog. The remains of... Something is inside of whatever this disgusting stuff is. Probably find something to grab it out of. I mean, you could just, like... Grab it. Just pick it up. Now this is unlocked. Hmm. Hide there. Green room, right? That's green room. Looks like it's locked by a security system, naturally. And it looks like it connects in here. So, let's unlock this door. Green key in. Nine. Alright, so we know that nine is the first... Um, what are these called? Letter? Number! First number! It's always listening. Be careful, it hates loud noises. Okay. Maybe we shouldn't yell? Open this. Oh, a glove. Do we use the glove for this, or...? What's in here? The wood seems thin. Break it down with something. Um... I think we use the glove for thing that's in here. Right? This seems like a thing. Put the glove in. On. Dirty pick lock. Okay. Whoa, we can wash it off. Right? We can wash it off with, um... This, right? Seems to work. Somehow this this will work. Wash off the blood and guts with it. All the rusted corrosion and all that. Nice, we got a pick lock. We do know the first number is nine. Oh, oh, okay. And nine. So we'll leave that at nine. Now we have to maybe do this. Pull it off. Pick with something. Where do we use the lock pick? Usually it's been a little straightforward. It's been oh in here right a hammer use the hammer on this thing yeah it's usually um it seems to be sh pretty straightforward like you you just pick up one thing and you're like oh this goes here and let's do this we'll equip it number two <laughs> Yeah, I really should have paid attention to this note the first time. Got too excited. Got too excited. Okay. The plan is this time to um, run after we hit. So we run straight to the table and we hide. Okay. We just stay here. Oh, probably turn off the flashlight. Can we turn off the flashlight? Hopefully he doesn't, like, check under the table or, like... Look under the light. Uh, 
I mean, look under the table to see the light. I think that means we're okay. I wonder if we can, like, hit him with a hammer, if that'll do anything. I, I mean, I doubt it, but still. Okay, uh, let's see. Interact. Red key. Yeah, bro, we're doing things. Making moves. Making progress. Let's do... Okay. And I need to save more. I need to be more cognizant about saving my games so that we're not backtracking too much, saving time. Let's go ahead and go save. Yeah, I'm actually enjoying this um, so far. I don't know, just it's like, like feels like a nice, nice game. Let's use the red key. I mean, it, they said it sent. Hello. Okay, so I don't want to hit that yet, but... I said it sounded like someone was in here, but there's nobody in here. The spirit box had been going off intermittently while they were there, but nothing too conclusive was said from it. Toby sat it... Toby sat it next to the upstairs door while he unsuccessfully tried to pry it open. Then a distant crash was heard from upstairs, followed by snarls. Some sort of animal? The spirit box seemed to react to its presence immediately. First, it went silent. Then, it started screaming, as if in multiple voices, Run, run, run! The moon swallows you whole! Then cutting to loud, high-pitched static, causing them both to cover their ears. The creature above roared. What's in here? Blue key. Okay, we got the blue key. We have both keys now. Avoid this. We need... Okay. Seven. Okay, red, seven. Um, hopefully we're fast enough. Come on. Oh, no, we're not, we're not. Oh! Oh, let me see if I can hit him. So we can fight him. I don't know if we can kill him, but still. All right. There we go. Oh, he walked faster this time. He like ran over here. Taking a book out of Alien Isolation. Or any other games that have mechanics where you have to, like, hide or something. I wonder if at any point are they gonna let us kill the wolfman. Oh. So now we go upstairs. That's where the wolf guy is. Let's go open this, um, thing first. Five. Seven, five, nine. There you go. Okay. We have a candle handle. We do know we're going to follow this red line to open that door, as well as keep an eye out for any key cards to open that other metal door. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Um, let's inspect this. Main control. So, got to find a way to get in there to open that door over there. Now... I, I do want to break this open, but I don't know. Like, I'd have to run and sprint, so we would need to be fast. What's this? That's uh, locked. I 
I thought that was going to make noise. Door is jammed. Not going to budge. Okay. Thank God that didn't make me open all of these. Safe room key. So we got a safe room key. Because, you know, sometimes you open a bunch of cabinets and there's nothing in any of them. But they put it in there just, just to make you do it. Seems stuck. I got a pocket knife for that. And we have a lock pick. That's cool. It pulled Michael from under the table. He screamed, but the sound was cut off as his throat was ripped out. His body went limp. Toby witnessed the whole thing. The creature began eating him on the floor. Toby used it as a chance to get away. The entrance they used seemed to have been locked somehow. He tried to open it quietly, but it wouldn't budge an inch. Panicked, Toby tried to get as far from the thing as possible. He found himself in a bathroom. Oh. Toby. The bathroom. The knife in his head. He found himself in the bathroom. A distant growl was heard, followed by footsteps. Toby jumped into the bathtub and closed the curtains. The creature entered, bashing the door down. Then, silence. Much time went by. Toby opened the curtain slightly, but there it was, standing there, concealing its presence. It roared and grabbed Toby by his leg, tearing the muscle from it with its sharp teeth. It tore his stomach open as if going for the best meat first. Toby laid there, wishing for death, but it never seemed to come. The creature wanted him alive. It wanted him fresh. So, who put the knife in Toby's head? And who's accounting this like who's writing about this i think it's probably the wolf guy himself it's got to be him because he was the only one there and we collected all the pages of the wolfman house that's good lock pick safe key safe room i mean All right, so we're safe, and, um, nice. Oh, shh! I gotta give that to them. That was legit. That was, that was, that was legit. Because you don't, you don't break that rule, I think, in any kind of game. Like, if you think you're in a safe room, you think you're safe, you got nothing to worry about, it's pretty mundane, nothing's gonna happen. But for them to implement that, that was... Hats off to that. That was a good that that got me. I wasn't wasn't expecting that. Jesus. Okay. We have a dog. What? Hello? The stick is stuck inside the mouth, can't pull it out. Who took... So we got a dog skeleton, bones are missing. The cane handle. Um... Okay. Max had a taste for blood and an impossibly strong bite. He lived away from the other dogs and attacked anything on sight. It's on sight! Then... One day, a raccoon found its way inside. It didn't stand a chance as Max wrapped its mouth around his neck. His mouth around its neck. Ferociously shaking and tearing it to shreds, there was one thing that would release Max's death grip, offering him a fresh bone to bite on instead. Okay, so now we've got some camera stuff going on. Right femur. Right humerus. It's in some room. Right forearm. Okay. Right foot. Do we just choose one? Right shoulder blade. Okay, so somebody put these... Bones everywhere. Still in there, okay.
Oh! You can just move it. Go prone like this. Can't pull it off. Fast to the wall. Okay. So, we're missing a specific kind of tool. I'm feeling like the foot or the arm. This this might be the one. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's put it back. Place bone. Six bone. Oh, we have to collect all the bones. All the bones need to be collected. Okay. Oh, that's right. There was one in here, right? There we go. Shoulder blade. Oh, what's in here? Oh, it's alright, we opened this up, but we never, like... Oh! Some sort of lever. Can't grab it without... Oh, that's what we need. We need the cane. It was weird that the dog was just sitting there. Okay. We got the right forearm. It's an extra two. We're still missing... Oh! sees the flashlight from under the table. Alright, let's go. He's hiding in there. Yeah, right here. Oh, inside. Okay, we can, we can open it. That's There we go. This one we're gonna have to hit, but where are we gonna hide? Hit him and then make and book it down here? But I don't know. It's kind of a stretch, but we'll, we'll see what we can get, if we can do it. There we go, run. Oh! almost thought I was going to get away with it. Damn. Let's go. Go, go, go ahead. I'm scared to go out just because we read that letter where we're like, Toby thought he was gone, but he was just standing there this whole time. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of shaky right now. This is a little stressful. Oh, that's where. Okay. Right femur, right humerus, and press it, gave him bone, he drops it. I don't know who picked it up from here and put it over here. We could have just had the cane. And let's oh! Dude. Come on, man! See if we can hide, like, right here. So... I'm gonna turn this off, and we'll run right here, and, like, just hang out right here. So I think we should wait for him to kind of show up right there, close this door on the way out. Let's see if we can... 
It's weird that this is the only hiding spot in the house. I'm like scared to come out. Yeah. Grab this, some sort of lever. We use the cane. Nice. We have a lever for something. Now we just gotta find out where the lever goes. Is this it? Oh, okay, so I thought it was a key card of some sort. Let's see. Okay. Yo, bro. Hey, dude! Some sort of security system is locking it. Alright, so we found our boy. Yo! Jane, is that you? James, thank God you're alive. Same for you, I thought I was the only one left. I think it's just us. The Wolfman got Melissa and Jack. What? Melissa too? It wasn't supposed to be like this. What do you mean it wasn't supposed to be like this? What do you mean? What What? What was it supposed to be like? What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Look, we need to get out of here. Yeah. Uh-huh. I've been trying, but this place is like a prison. Tell me about it. I think there's something... Oh. I think there's some sort of security mechanism locking the doors. That's how I got trapped in here. You'll need to turn it off somehow. Okay, I'll try, but are you gonna be okay? Will you be okay in here? Yeah, I'll be fine. It hasn't found a way in yet. By the way, are you feeling all right? You look a bit strange. I don't know. Strange? Strange how? Not sure. Just something about your eyes. Forget it. It's probably the light. The place has me feeling crazy. So, I, I just gotta know, who put him in here that the wolfman... Wolfman can't get inside. And two, I'm pretty sure we're like wolf. We're we're gonna wolf out. Oh, and hey, before you go, you should take this. Might come in handy for you. Perfect, dude. I don't know how you had that in there. That's exactly what I needed. And you know what? We're gonna go with it. We're gonna take it gracefully. This right here. I remember we could we could do this. It's fastened to the wall. Can we use a screwdriver? Probably. I wonder if this makes noise. Prone with Z. Because there was this one and there's the one where the main control is. Okay, so we can hide here. There's a code here. Oh, let's read this. On a farm, there was a barn cat. In the day, it would hide from the dogs. In the night, it would hunt for rats. It loved to break their legs and watch them struggle. I mean, cats do play with their food for fun, making them think they could escape before eating them whole. But one day, the cat grew bored and saw birds by the road. It snuck in real close and waited for its time to strike. And when the time finally came, it lunged on its prey and it died. But what the cat didn't see was the incoming car. The car was too fast, so the cat couldn't get very far, the car hit the brakes, but it was too late. The cat had gone from hunter to prey. Not sure what uh, that's got to do with us. What? Oh, it's a little uh, puzzle puzzle mechanics. Let's uh, keep this here so nobody comes in. Cat? Oh, it's a story! The story has to do with the puzzle, I think. Right? There's a cat, rat, bird. So first there was a cat trying to get that rat. Then he tried to get the bird. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. First there was a cat 
tried to get the rat, tried to get the crow, and then we all know. Or was it, um, okay, let's try this again. Okay, uh, that was just completely random. I don't, there, that luck, that was complete luck. <laughs> 57, 14. Yeah, that was weird. That was bizarre. I, I just started clicking. Ra that just seems like something that would let the wolf dude know I'm here. Let's go to... That, um... Okay. So now he's gone. Let's continue our... Our quest. And I think... It was... Oh! Heading upstairs. Instead of going there, we go this way. There we go, we go prone again. Let's see, what do we find? Yo, James! Bro! Hey! What's up, dude? Now it's unlocked. 57, 14, 5, 7, 14. Enter. <laughs> Okay, I put the code in. Did it work? Yes, I think we should be able to get out of here now, but we also did hear Wolf Dude. The Wolf Man could come at any second. Yeah, I'll meet you at the basement entrance. Be careful. Don't let it hear you. How do you know where the basement is, bro? How does he know where the basement is? Oh, scared the crap out of me. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Let's do it. Chapter 3. Acceptance. Accepting what? Oh, that I've become... Wolf. Hey, I know things are rough, but it's gonna be okay. We can get out of this. I don't deserve to make it out of this. What? Why would you say that? Look, Jane, there's something I haven't been telling you. It wasn't Jack's idea to come here. It was mine. <gasps> what? What do you mean? I knew the Wolfman was real. Well, I knew it was more than just stories anyway. What? How would you know something like that? Well, you know already, my dad's a cop and people really do did go missing out here. But that's not the full story. He told me they found one of the bodies. They were completely mutilated in a way no animal out here could have done. Not even a man. There was a big hunt looking for whatever could have done it. They thought it could be a bear or something, but they didn't find a thing. But my dad always warned me to never come out here after that. He believed something was out here. I knew the stories. I knew it would be a full moon tonight. So I told him we should come here. And you know Jack, he's always obsessed with cryptids. So of course he jumped on the idea. And the thing is supposed to be territorial. So when it got late, I told him about the shack, convinced him it was a good idea. I watched from the woods as the thing broke in and pulled him out. I heard him screaming, but after that I knew things were going too far, so I ran after him, but when I found him he was dead. The creature had already eaten away most of him. I started to run, but it caught me. I, I, I screamed and I tried to get away, but it knocked me unconscious. I guess it wasn't hungry for me yet. But why would you do this? They're our friends. Because I hate him. I've always hated him. Him and his perfect life and how he always rubbed it in our faces. Oh, he was jealous as his, um... He was jealous of his girl. Like getting married to the perfect girl. He dragged us all the way out here just to tell us that. I told you, it's the girl, it's always a girl. She should have been mine. I just wanted their perfect night to get ruined. I wanted him to hurt. Look, I know I'm messed up, but I really didn't mean for it to end up like this. Can you ever forgive me? Nah, bro, you're pathetic. James, I honestly can't believe this. You're pathetic. Yeah, I know. I deserve that. I just hope somehow I can redeem myself. Listen, dude, when time comes, you need to feed yourself to the wolf so that I can escape. And that's just the best way to do it. 
Okay. We're under the basement, or we're in the basement. Let's obviously save first. Don't have to backtrack too much. On to the next string of puzzles. Let's see here. An unstoppable beast. An insatiable bloodlust. It will tear out every piece of you until there's nothing left. A sword to kill it, hidden in the dark. Use the moonlight to show you the way. Stab the beast through the heart to free you from its torment and pain. Look, I know you don't like me much right now, but we're going to need to work together to get out of this. I found Jack's bat. I'll try to use it to fight. You should find something too. Bro, I have a hammer. I could use the pocket knife too, right? Can I use, can I use the pocket knife? Looks like I can't. What? So this... I, I believe we can use this to, you know, solve the puzzle as soon as we find out what the puzzle is and where the puzzle is. There, that's my... You, take that. Are you sure you're ready to go? We need to be prepared. Not yet. Let me see what's in that room over there. Ooh, a bunch of mirrors. Okay. Hold E to rotate. Let's see. Can we? Oh. Okay. Alright. You know, I actually uh, don't really know how to do these puzzles. I kind of just guess until it's. until it works. Let's see here. Right there. Just about. Yes. There we go. We adjust this one a little bit more. Maybe here? Oh, yep. Yeah. We got a sword! We got the silver sword! Let's save the game! Let's equip that. Hell yeah. Now we have a sword. Yeah, let's go! I got this. In fact, I'm gonna go out of my way to kill him. It's F for flashlight. Alright, you foul beast, let's go! No fear, because I am here. I'm gonna break your face, mother lover! Let's go! Yeah! Take that! Easy boss fight! Die, you mother lover! James, we did it! Oh, he's dead, isn't he? He got mauled! Uh, James? I guess I'm the only one left. Blech. It's yellow in color and almost glowing. Some strange chunks present in the spew. It feels as though the claws digging into your chest since you woke up finally released and you can breathe again. I need to get help. Hey, let me pick up that sword again, though. Yo. Right? Right? Hey, he said it. Special thanks to my family, my cat. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that one as much as I did. Catch you on the next one. Huh?